Hey, Chad here with Speed Addict's fast growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncrate the Simpson M30 helmet. Before I jump in and tell you all about this Simpson M30 helmet, go ahead and subscribe for me. That helps us here at Speed Addicts keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. And if at any point you decide, hey, I'd like to purchase a Simpson helmet, well, we make it easy here at Speed Addicts. There's a link in the description below to shop for the Simpson M30 or any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. So the M30, this thing is just badass. It is unique. It is a statement piece. It looks awesome on a metric cruiser, a Harley Davidson, maybe a naked bike, cafe racer, right at home here. This is tapping into those Simpson drag racing roots that started in the late 50s and it is just sweet. They make it in this composite version. This is the matte black composite, AKA fiberglass. And then they make the higher dollar full carbon fiber versions that are really bitching and even a little bit lighter. Uh, this helmet's gonna run you in the composite model you see before me, 436. If you want those carbon fiber jammies, they're gonna be up in the $600 price range. And again, they look cool, but they're also a touch lighter. Now these helmets are already very light. The M30's running right about three pounds. So it is very compact, so it's gonna fit close to your head. You will not look like Jack in the Box in this helmet. And it's a great option for someone maybe who wasn't wearing a helmet before, wearing a half shell. We got a lot of guys that are switching over to full face. They've decided they're too pretty to rub their face off. Simpson helmet, definitely the weapon of choice for those folks. Simpson M30 is DOT certified. The fit, slightly more round oval as opposed to a longer or intermediate oval. So do keep that in mind. I've also found it to run a little bit small. So I would round up a half to a full size depending on your head shape. And uh, I'm a 24 inch circumference head. I'm usually kind of the top of an extra large uh, in most helmets. I've tried this one on an extra large and it did not fly for me. So if you got a bigger head, 24 inches and above, you might want to uh, look elsewhere. They only have, it's the range starts at extra small and goes up to extra large. So they don't have 2X or above. So that's just my two cents on the way this thing fits. Now, if you buy your next helmet from Speed Eyes, you're gonna look smarter than all of your friends because we offer no cost returns. You have any issues with fit, you just decide something's not for you. All you have to do is live in lower 48 states to get that free return label. Just make sure the helmet's brand new in the original packaging and we'll make sure to get you that exchange or refund and treat you like family gives a shot on your next gear purchase. Okay, let's look a little closer at this M30. You're gonna notice we always start with ventilation here at Speed Addicts and you got a lot of ventilation up in your grill here. You've got vents all over the place. These are always open, they are not switchable. They are passive vents that are always gonna be kicking air into your mug. There are no other intakes or exhausts anywhere on this M30 helmet. So you're gonna count on that ventilation from the, the chin bar area to keep you cool. If you crack this a little bit, if you get it off the, uh, your notch here, you can crack it just a touch to get a little bit more airflow up into your visor, but there are no detents. So you're kind of either closed, cracked open, or all the way up when it comes to this face shield. It does require a tool to change and they do offer a full suite of different external shields for this. You've got iridium in different colors as well as smoke. So you can uh, set this M30 up just the way you like it. It does have a pretty strong gasket, a thick gasket around the eye port here. You can see how that smushes down as you close the visor. I've seen other helmets kind of copying that Simpson DNA. And a lot of them are rather leaky when it comes to the face shield, which is annoying if you have uh, dry or sensitive eyes. This thing tends to seal quite well because of this weather stripping that they put on it. Let's flip this over and check out what we're working with on the inside. We have that traditional double D ring closure. We're gonna open this up. <clears throat> they did, uh, they're just using kind of a little elastic band here to hold the tail end instead of a clip or something like that, very low tech. The other thing that's pretty raw about this helmet are actually the D-rings. They are really chunky like billet. It's hard to pick that up on the camera, but they, uh, they're unusual, they're pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna pull out this cheek pad system. We have some Velcro and the cheek pad is also the neck roll. So on helmets, when you set them down, you're out and about. This is the part that usually gets torn up over the years. Nice thing about this helmet, all you have to do is replace the cheek pads and the bottom of your helmet is completely refinished. They're using a Coolmax material that will wick, 
keep you cool and uh, keep funk from growing on this. But if you do wanna wash it, all you have to do is pull this out, put it in the sink, and give it a little scrub, let it air dry. Now with every M30, you are gonna get the stock cheek pads, which are relatively robust here. So you're getting a fair amount of low density foam that will tend to pack in over time and conform to your face. But if these are too tight for you, they do include one thinner set with every M30. A nice touch, allow you to custom fit. There's that Velcro patch on the back. And then this plastic lip just slides in between the shell and that EPS crash liner. <clears throat> okay, let's pull out the other cheek pad and show you what we're working with inside here. There's no EPS in the ear wells, so you can install a speaker. There's room in that uh, V-shaped cutout of your cheek pad to adhere a speaker in there, but there's no predefined pre speaker pocket. So it will take a little bit of work to get that dialed in, but you can do it. Let's pull out the headliner and show you what we're working with inside of here. Okay. We have a 3D foam mapped headliner for stability and ear comfort. There it is. Again, removable, washable, all that. We remove this, we see that EPS crush liner. Again, this is a DOT only helmet. This is not Snell rated like some of the other Simpsons. This is gonna get a one year warranty from those folks over at Simpsons. Simpson, which is a little short in my uh, opinion, the industry standard is about two years, but on the M30, we don't have extra pieces. There's no drop down sun visor. You don't have a flip up chin bar. There's really not too much to go wrong on this guy. If you got questions I didn't answer, go over to speedax.com because our rider support team is standing by. Yes, that's right. You can speak to a human by phone, email, or live chat. And if you've already got an M30, let us know how you like it in the comment section below. Appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.